Welcome back to Fire Emblem Awakening. We've got some more supports yet again. As always, you know, these things uh, never cease. And I think that's great because I love reading the supports. They're, uh, they're nice and light most of the time. And so the mood is no longer so terrible compared to uh, what the game currently is. So... We've got Cynthia and Crumb, the mother-daughter, the father-daughter duo, I guess. We're gonna do this one first, so uh, let's get into it. Sorry. I am so sorry, father. I should hope you are. You nearly buried me alive under all those blasted petals. I know, I asked mother to help out and we ended up collecting thousands. You roped Sumia into helping you with this ridiculous project? Of course, we wanted to do something special for our dear father and husband. But you did look really dashing and heroic out there in the field. At least you would have if anyone could have seen you in that blizzard of petals. Well, in any case, there are to be no more entrance flourishes. Understood? Uh, but I had so many more wonderful ideas. Can I at least pick a special catchphrase for you to shout out at the start of a battle? To me. Cynthia, war is a serious business. We're not playing games out there. Sorry. Uh, no, I know. I'm sorry. I just wanted to make you happy and give us something fun to talk about. And Oh, Pegasus Poop. I don't know what to do. I mean, what are fathers and daughters supposed to do together? Good. God, Cynthia, don't be silly. You don't have to make such an effort to, make think, to think of fun things for us to share. Just spending time with you is enough for me. <laughs> Truly? It, just... Being together is enough? Mm. Of course. Oh, father, you're such a great guy. It's no wonder mother fell in love with you. Even if you're just being polite, you're doing it because you like me. You're the best. Ah, uh, Cynthia, don't hug so tight I can't breathe. Crushing ribs. And there's a nice little piece of board bar, yep. And then we get a Wayne and Shell with an A support. They are close to S, actually. Would you look at that? Oh, Wayne, if you can hurry your ass up and get promoted, we can have a real good dream team over here. Cavalier armor. Medium glass weight. What did I just say? Medium weight class? Is that what I said? Or is that what it said? Combine significant defense with impressive mobility. Well, This one's an archer's jerkin. What I just... What is... What? It boasts unrivaled ease of motion, but lacks any real stopping power. Do you really need to narrate? Hmm? It's important to keep the characteristics of equipment in mind while working on it. <laughs> I suppose I should be happy you're not just goofing around. Still, it would help if you kept your thoughts inside your head. My sword hand twitches. Words are important. Our armor and weapons are partners in this war. Granting them a voice elevates them from hunks of iron to something more. It breathes into them a soul, transforming mere tools into implements of divine will. Hmm. We're in this Take this together. breastplate. I hear it whisper to me. I am the Argent Lion Male, it says. Behold, my regal silvery form, behold! Shell, are you beholding? Shell, hey, where'd you go? She just disappeared. That's kind of amazing. God. What dark sorcery is this? A lone knight's armor moves of its own accord? Be at peace, ghostly visitor! It never ends with you, does it? Voices from beyond the grave! Be gone, foul wraith! It's me, you babbling buffoon! And if you say a ghost ate Shell, I'm going to stab you in the eye! What? Shell? What are you doing in there? Is that suit comfortable? It hides you completely! I'm trying to block out the noise. Am I? That much of a bother? Actually. Also, this was the suit of armor I wore in my first battle. I put it back on from time to time. It calms me. Wow. Oh, well, I guess I can respect that. But in any case, it deserves a name. How about you? No, no names. And even if it were to be named, it would be it by anyone but you. Uh, uh, hey, why not? I'll be your 
Because I said so. Now get sorting. Yes, ma'am. That's a fun little ace for. I like reading the Owain dialogues. Um, and the vague ones are fun. I feel like they're kind of similar that way. Um, I don't think I really need to do anything. Uh, probably just go straight into this chapter. I need to give him some more tomes, though. He's kind of, like, lacking a bit, and it's not great. So, we'll give him an art far. We'll give him... Ooh, Bulgan. How much is this one? Defensive resistance plus... Do, 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 do. Fall flame? He could use this. He's gonna be the only one that can use it right now, so... I guess why not? Um, I think that's okay for now. Actually, we do want- I do want him to have this. Um, so we'll get rid of arc fire for now, I guess. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, just go into it, I guess. Why not? Let's just go for it. Chapter 23, Invisible Ties. Are you ready, Gebo? Krom? First, I have a favor to ask. As long as it's not a request to leave you behind. Yeah. It's not. No, I did consider it. I can't hurt you if I'm not there in the first place. But I can't run from Validar forever. And if I'm going to overcome him, my best chance is with you by my side. Good. That's more like it. But therein lies the favor. Validar does somehow gain control over me. Promise me. Promise me you'll cut me down. You can't mean that. You can't ask that. I'll resist him with all that I am, I'll promise you. But there are other people involved here. Too many people to ignore. You have a duty to protect them as well. You're right. Words burn in my tongue. But you're right. Right. But you mustn't let Validar seize control, whatever it takes, whatever the cost. Yeah. I'll try. You know I will. <laughs> Validar. Hurrah. Oh, oh. Come to witness the glorious culmination of your future. Failure, even. How nice. I have the fire emblem, and the dragon's table is set for a feast. I will return Grima to this world. You'll destroy the world. Lucina has seen it. Then I pray today's spectacle lives up to her nightmares. Ha! The awakening rite is not only for Exalt and Naga, you know. With it, I'll arise Grima. The fell dragon needs only a mortal vessel, which you so kindly brought along. Huh? Oh gods, he means me. You can quickly, Gabo. That's my boy. No. no, never. I'll die first. Now then. You carry my blood, the blood of the fell dragon. His soul slumbers within you. And now the time has come to awaken you both. No. Wh what? I'm Grima? I'm the fell dragon? The Grimlil have worked for generations to create someone like you, a vessel worthy of our master. Simply having Grima's blood in your veins is not enough. My father was not worthy, nor was his father before him. Even I was not able to accept Grima's most sacred gift. But you, you had all the markings, all the makings. You were perfection. No. If your damnable mother hadn't been seized by weakness and fear, she betrayed us, stole you from your crib, and fled with you in the night. I know not of your life thereafter, but all that matters is your return. That you are here is proof of your purpose. It is why you still draw breath. You've proven nothing but your own madness. Think again. This can be stopped. You can be stopped. 
may have killed me in some future past, but I am stronger this time. With the power of the dragon's table throwing, flowing through me, I am unstoppable. You're not the only one stronger this time, right, Gabo? Gabo? Stay with me, Gubbo. You're not beholden to this fiend. You can fight it. We've seen how strong you are. We've seen what you're capable of. Don't let him shake your resolve. Crumb. I... I don't know. Enough. This sorry display ill befits the heir to our master's power. And you, Prince, your sad poem. Sounds lovely, but it will not alter destiny. More than just words. What? Be still now, my son. All right. My life did not begin with you. It began the day Crom found me in that field. I've been all over this world, and I have helped change it for the better. I have fought and laughed and bled with my friends, and that is what matters. The ties we forge, the bonds we share, they are of a power greater than Grima. A lucrative idea, as you will never, as you know, as you will know better than anyone soon enough. We can do it. We do agree on one thing. My life so far has all been in preparation for this moment. When I kill you or die, try. <laughs> you have your father's courage, but your mother's judgment. Very well, Papa. Come, do your worst. Come at me with all you have. There's no damage I can do your body that the fell dragon cannot repair. And here we have it. The reality of the premonition in the very beginning of the game. We've got Valadar the Sorcerer, Grima's Truth, right there, right there. We see it, we see it, and we've seen it before. Dark magic channels Grima's power. Yes. So we've got Gabo. Who definitely outclasses this dude. We've got Krom, who also does. But this time, we've got our friends. Our friends are in trouble. We are being surrounded by all of these morphs, or Grimleal, maybe. But none of them are really too spectacular, I don't think. Especially not compared to the last, last chapter. Um, but, yes, let us get to that. I will be right back, set things up, and we will begin. This is it, our final battle. You're one of us, Gubbo. And no destiny can change that. So, let's kill this dastard and be done with it. <sighs> so long as the dark barrier stands, no other soul can reach us. You must face your grim fate alone. Huh. Okay, so here we go. We're going for it, yeah? Just like the very first episode. We have this, but now we've got more information to deal with. Um, also, Kellum uh, is here. He's kind of weak. So, I'm going to be uh, trying to feed him a kill or two, hopefully. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my uh, gosh. Wow, okay. That's actually not enough damage. Shoot. I've got myself some root beer. <sighs> gotta love root beer, okay? That's all I've got to say on the matter. But we've got things to do, so let's do it. Um, what do I do about this guy right here? I don't want to waste a hand axe, but I should because everybody else actually this the guy I can kill with a hammer. Yes. Let's go, away. Oh my god. Why you do this to me? <laughs> uh, that is just too bad. 
Um. Okay, that's a lot of crit, but we can stand to uh, take one of those. Shell is pretty much the best. She's only level four, so a long way to go before she reaches her full potential, which she never truly will if we keep reclassing her, which we're not gonna play that long, so. Um, can, how does he fare against this dude? Jerome actually does not do super well against this guy. So, I don't think Kellum can reach this far, but we might be able to get him, no. We have Rickon be able to do enough damage to, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know what's what anymore. Do, 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 do. Guess Lucina's gonna, well, actually, we'll just have Cynthia go kill this guy. Or no, we'll have, um, oh, we'll have my phone go off. We'll have Morgan do it. D look how slow Owain was. I wasn't speeding it up because I was looking at my phone that went off. Okay, there's a good level up for Morgan. Let's hope that it's good. Okay, it wasn't great. Not at all. What's up with my healers? They're all kind of bad. Okay. <laughs> Lucina, going with the log. Going with the lance. That's a, I don't know, a good start, maybe. I don't really know how much these guys matter down here because we're about to go murder Validar. I don't really know if this is relevant, really. Um, but wow, we don't hardly do any damage. Um, so Mary Bell's the one with all the res on my team. That's what happens. We'll go and attack this guy and then Maybe, well, no, Callum can't even reach that, so if somebody who isn't super strong can go over here and kill or hit this guy, but, you know, that's not gonna happen, except for with you. You actually do way too much damage. What? What? Okay. This is annoying. I just want Callum to get one kill. But everyone else is too freaking good at their job. I can just use para. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. This is this is fine. We'll do this. Yeah, idiot. Use some freaking para. God. Abuse the game. It gives it to you. All right, we're done. We're done. We're done with that. We're gonna kill this guy Right here right in the face. We'll use the L, 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 L fire Skip it because you don't even need to see it oh, We need to kill that assassin though. He's really fast 27 speed. He's gonna murder Rickon do, 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 do. Did I give her a move? Did I give her a move? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No. No. Give her a move. No. Give her a move. I don't know what governs um, an extra move. But it sucks because we didn't get any of those. Do your worst. Thank you, Maribel. Appreciate that. I shouldn't have stopped using Maribel. She's good. She's not great, though, really. She's pretty slow. That's why I stopped using her. But her res is very good. Her magic is, I think it's pretty good as well. Yeah, it's okay. Um, so, basically, let's just make sure everyone gets some rallies. Everyone... Could use that. Not, not not sure what it's gonna do for us, but maybe we should pair up with Rickon, give him some speed. Everyone else is probably okay. That 29 just hit me. Oh no! He's not gonna double me though. 
<laughs> Lucina is hitting him with a log. With a log. From a tree trunk. That is just silly. So what is the what's like the point here? Route the enemy? So if I kill him, will it matter? Wow. So what do we even do here? Just kill him? I guess we'll just kill him with What do I kill him with? Crom or Gubbo? Uh I don't know. Just kill him with Gubbo, I guess. Gubbo, why insist on these games? You only delay the inevitable. And besides the alternative, have you considered what happens should I fall? These followers of Naga will spurn you now that they've learned what you are. Kill me and you will incur the wrath of the Grimliel as well. Would you truly choose to be so utterly alone? Humans are weak, pathetic creatures. Your bonds with them will bind, blind, will b b b b bind you. You are destined for a greater purpose. The greatest purpose. You are to be a god. <clears throat> Not your god. Not today. <laughs> Even this was meant to be. Escape from this place. Please. Go. <laughs> Father. <laughs> With the five gemstones in hand, my magic knows no bounds. Gabo is powerless to resist me. <laughs> Do you see now, son? Human bonds are leaves in the wind. They offer you nothing. <laughs> this can't be happening. We were supposed to change this. Everything I've done is worthless. My hair is glitching through my back. Nah. The hell it was. I know that voice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why don't you put any stock in this destiny, Hogwash? Let the dead whine about their fate. As long as I draw breath, I choose to keep fighting. That's what life is all about. No. Con Vasilio, no. I thought... We all thought you were... Worm food back in Valm? It almost went that way. But I scraped by thanks to you. I, I don't understand. Once I took a couple hits from Walhart, I knew he was too strong for me. Normally, Pride would have had me dead before I'd even thought twice about it. But your warning gave me the courage to be a coward. <laughs> and I played dead like a big bald opossum. Ah, it wasn't hard. In truth, I almost was dead. Save my life, Lucina. Had you not said anything, I'd have stood my ground against that monster and died on the spot. Oh, Basilio. This does not matter. If you didn't die there, then you can die here. Right. 
You're no wall heart, Snake Eyes. You're not as strong. Or even as clever. For example, you still haven't realized that you've been tricked. What? Gabo predicted everything that would happen here. He saw it in a dream. Saw this very fight with you. If you think. Guess what else was a dream? Five gemstones. Flavia gave my stone to Krom. Gabo saw what fate had in store. He knew Krom couldn't bring the real gemstones here to please ya. That'd be like swinging a big juicy steak right in front of Destiny's choppers. <laughs> a worthy bluff, Feroxy fool. But ridiculous all the same. I've had your merry little band watch since Carrie and Isle. Your every move. So I know Gabo hasn't touched the stones. He hasn't even been near them. You watched our party, yes. Members your men knew about, the live ones. They weren't watching dead men, were they? They weren't watching me. No, that's not... <laughs> Looks like it might be finally starting to sink in. That's not possible. These have to be. They must. Why? Because of destiny? <laughs> Get on your destiny beat days ago, when he came up with this plan. Expression on your face. It makes all these long nights in hiding worth it. <laughs> Damn you. Damn you all to the hells. None of this matters. Grom is dead. Your fate's sealed. Grima will... Eh? No. Father, you're alive. Gabo spared me. He weakened his magic just before the strike. Damn you all and your stones! Oh, I won't need them to kill you. Listen. Ready to end this, Gubbo? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm ready to see what our true future has in store. Can we change. will. Now, together. Go. Crumb. Gubbo, we're yours to command. Right. Let's put this dastard down. For good this time. And there we go. We're just continuing right on from where we were. Check that out. Check that out, Twisted Turn Events. I actually completely forgot that that happened. I kind of thought Crown was going to be dead. And, like, you know, I kind of forgot that he, did, like, isn't. Like, look at him. He's right there. Look at him. He's just hanging out. And so now we've got Flavia. So I got to remember how to put in the freaking, uh... Uh, growth charts if I even still have them um, I'll do my best if they're not here then you know apologies but uh, they might look a little different is what I'm trying to say and uh, you know here we've got Basilio I should have went over Flavia first but uh, whatever Basilio is a warrior you know he's a dude he's really average for his level pretty much where you probably should have someone a lot better than him by now if you uh have been using any axe users i would say a wayne is quite a bit better and he will be once he promotes he's got a little bit less strength a little bit less defense but everything else i think is superior or equal to basilio flavia is a hero um also pretty good she's a little bit better i'd say than basilio obviously i think she's a lot better be honest he's got more defense and more speed and skill so she does probably more damage overall just because she can double that many more people because she's got five more points and uh yeah she's got uh they both have an a b rank in weapons but uh yeah, flavia's probably the better choice if you're gonna use either of them but um to probably have someone a little bit better than her too I would say the closest comparison is, honestly, you know, in my party, probably Krom, just with a different weapon. I mean, we had Vake, but we benched him a while ago, so um, in comparison to Krom, um, she's a little bit worse in every way, really, but, you know, he's a great lord, so, and the main character, so what are you going to do? So, I probably won't be using them much for anything. Um, but they're extra units if you have extra space, which I think we probably will. Um, so there's that. 
And we've got freaking this dude here, so we need to kill some people with him. Just because I'm sick of having him a lousy thief that, you know, is pretty much worthless. So, um, let's just go and kill this guy. Na, 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 and to be honest with you, yeah, my voice is absolutely killing me after that, so um, we're going to try to do this kind of quickly, just to spare that a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I, I, I apologize, because I, <laughs> I wish this didn't happen, but it happens every time I record for more than like an hour. Especially with all these voices that I try to make sound extra good, etc, etc. Of course, I don't have to do that, but... It's what I like to do. So we're going to use the hammer. Hopefully it doesn't miss on me again. And it's a good dodge. And it's a good kill. Down sword. You don't use a sword anymore, dude. Just letting you know that. Okay. All right. That wasn't great. But we've got one more level for him. Until I'll promote because he can still get a nice level with strength and defense and res. That would be perfect. Well, luck would be perfect. But if not, it's to totally fine. Um, as long as we get something, of course, that's pretty much what I'm looking for. 